Okay, hi, we're gonna talk about how to prevent kidney stones. And the first thing I'm gonna recommend, avoid eating meat. What's the deal with meat? Meat contains a unique composition of amino acid. It has a lot of methionine and cysteine, much more so than do plant foods. Methionine and cysteine are sulfur-containing amino acids. In the process of their metabolism, their degradation, sometimes the sulfurs are pulled off and made into sulfuric acid, and they'll cause a metabolic acidosis. The body has to maintain a normal pH for around 7.4, and in order to buffer that pH from the metabolic acidosis of the methionine and cysteine, it will take calcium from the bone. And as it takes calcium from the bone, this is then excreted through the kidneys, and that causes calciuria. By the way, it's the eating the meat also predisposes to osteoporosis. You know, who gets osteoporosis? Little old ladies who drink milk, okay? Um, Non-milk drinkers are less likely to get osteoporosis. Calciuria um, is the excretion of increased amounts of calcium in the urine. Those can occlude the renal tubules and precipitate in those renal tubules. Small amounts of calcium precipitating can plug up those tubules diffusely through the kidney, and over time those will decrease kidney function. Um, and subsequently, bigger precipitates of calcium will form kidney stones. Very commonly, I look at CAT scans of the abdomen for kidney stones, and I'll see one major stone, a smaller stone, and then a whole bunch of little tiny calcifications much more extensively. So once a person's a stone former, they often have problems with stones the rest of their life. And so it's really a good idea, first of all, to avoid them completely, but if you should have them, to do everything you can to avoid subsequent episodes. Getting treated for kidney stones is no fun. To remove them from below, they put a scope up to Johnson about one centimeter in diameter, that's 30 French in medical terms, or it'll go through the kidney, a transrenal approach with a percutaneous nephrolithotomy. It is no fun either way. So the best thing to do is prevent them. Also minimize your intake of dietary sodium. Dietary sodium will also increase calcium excretion in the urine. Um, I recommend avoid your, your dietary intake of fructose, this industrial fructose, because it'll increase production of ur urate, uric acid, which can predispose to kidney stones. In addition, fructose causes increased absorption of sodium from the intestinal tract. It causes increased uh, reabsorption of sodium from the kidney as well. So that's another thing I recommend to avoid. I recommend avoiding caffeine. Caffeine also increases the amount of calcium that is excreted in your urine. It also causes increased excretion of your magnesium into your urine. Um, and then try to stay reasonably well hydrated. You don't need to go crazy walking around with a giant bottle of water, but you know, if you eat a lot of plant foods, they'll tend to have a lot of water in them. There's a lot of water in an apple, in a pear, in oatmeal, in quinoa, in rice, in beans, all that stuff. Um, usually what I do is I don't so much drink water as I just rinse my mouth off at the end of every meal and there's a lot of water in the foods I eat. And if you're going to be drinking water, make sure you're drinking good water, okay? Because if you're drinking water that's not filtered and has a bunch of junk in it, then that's not going to help you either. All right, well, anyways, that was a key point. Most important thing to prevent kidney stones, minimize your intake of meat, and all these other things are helpful to uh, decrease the amount of calcium going out in your urine and decrease the amount of uric acid. Uh, so hope that helps.